it's always easiest to edit objects instead of individual stitches. But there are times when editing the individual stitches is necessary because you can't edit the object. The stitch edit feature in the software lets you edit single stitches, a range of stitches, or several stitches by selecting the needle points to edit. Remember, you must be in design view and not in artistic view to edit stitches. You also want to have needle points activated in order to see the needle penetrations. For this first sample, we're going to add stitches. In the Edit Toolbox, click on Stitch Edit, and then click where you would like to add a stitch. The selected needle point is designated with a plus sign. All stitches before that stitch appear in color, and those after it appear in black. You will click where you want to add a stitch, and that adds the plus sign. Then I'm going to move my mouse to the point where I want to add the stitch and right click to add the stitch. I can use the right arrow key to move through the design to the location where I'm going to add the next stitch. Again, right click and that will add the stitch. And I can continue to stitch through with the arrow keys, moving to the next point and right click to add a stitch. A practical application for inserting stitches is to fill a gap in an object. These inserted stitches are part of the object, but the inserted stitches will be lost if stitches have to be regenerated. That will occur if you resize the design. So you always want to save all your stitch editing to the very end of creating or editing a design. Next, let's look at moving stitches. You can move a stitch or a group of stitches. Again, where possible, reshaping is really a better option for changing the shape of an object. Let's say we want to decrease the length of this one blanket stitch. Stitch Edit is still activated. I'll click on the point that I want to edit, and then I'll go to the new point and click, and this that stitch will then go to the new point. Here, I might want to straighten out these adjoining lines. So again, I'll select the point I want to move, and then move to the location and click to change the point. And here again, move to the location I want the point to be, and click again. You can also move a group of stitches. And there are several ways to actually select a group of stitches. One way is to draw a bounding box around the stitches. And now you can see all the selected stitches are highlighted in blue. I can also select multiple stitches by holding down the control key and selecting individual needle points. Every stitch that has been selected is now highlighted in blue. A third way is to select a range of stitches. So I can click on a stitch, hold down the shift key, and click on a stitch, and all the stitches in between that stitch have been selected. So let's say we wanted to move these stitches. To move these stitches, I'll select the group and then click on a stitch Make sure you have that one stitch selected and then drag to the new location and click and all the stitches have now been moved. One other thing that we can do is delete stitches. Again, needle points are showing, stitch edit is still activated. I can either select a single stitch and press delete or I can select a group of stitches and then press delete. And these stitches have now all been deleted. So you can see by editing individual stitches, you can make changes in your design.